History with Larry. All right, Larry. All right. So uh, <laughs> what do we have this week for History Time? All right, it's a little bit different story. Okay, a little bit different. I like that. But And I did title this. Okay. Well, kind of so- what good parenting can lead to. Oh, I'm intrigued already. Yeah. You had me at what? What? Yes. <laughs> so this story is not, it is kind of about what a person. What are you doing? But not, it's more about his parenting style and what it led to. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So, and his... Death therapy? Teaching, no, no. Oh, okay. But teaching and leading by example and teaching his kids to persevere through adversity and disappointment. Oh, wow. And this is it's probably not going in a good direction. Oh, yeah, you'll, okay. you'll be surprised. So, Milton is his name. Oh, Milton this, Bradley? No, not oh, okay. Milton Bradley. I Another ready Milton. for a game. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> he was an ordained minister in the Church of the United Brethren oh, yeah, in okay. Christ. This okay. is during the mid middle 1800s sure. in the United States. And Milton met and married his wife, Susan, Catherine Corner, K-O-E-R-N-E-R. I'm not good with pronunciation. Uh, okay, sure. Phonics is not my thing. Okay. It just doesn't make sense. But It doesn't make sense. They met at the Brethren College in Huntsville, Indiana. College? College. Okay. College <laughs> in Huntsville, Indiana. Ah, right around the corner from where I used to grow uh, up. Is it still there? I have no idea. Oh, where is that? Where you used Huntsville? to grow up. Uh, uh, I don't know. Oh, okay. Where I used anyway. to grow up. That's what you said. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> they got married. They had they had seven children. They had a set of twins. They died early. Oh. Yeah, it's kind of tragic. But anyway, oh. yeah. And then Milton, they moved from Huntsville to Dayton, Ohio, where okay. he became a that's even closer. Yeah, uh, mm, an editor me. on the uh, church's newspaper. Oh, nice. I started to say website, but this is uh, eighteen hundred yes. <laughs> yeah. church. And in eighteen seventy seven, he was elected to be a bishop of the church which meant a lot of travel. Now, you might be thinking, well, I didn't think th- this was about a man, but it you'll see where it's going. But he well, traveled a Milton, lot. right? Well, yeah. He traveled a lot with his job as the bishop for the church. Money! Which man he was... No, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Not back then. He was gone, and, you know, it's hard to, even today, to maintain good strong family if you're not there because of traveling. Did, but that is a problem. He managed to do it, but the family did move a lot be- with his job as well. But he also made his family a priority and to teach his kids and and to make sure they were well taken care of. The church at that time had a tremont they were just going through some trouble and a split because modernism was coming in. Oh yeah. And eighteen fifties, yeah. Yeah. He was more on the conservative side. And so they, they was, it was like a 20-year process going through wow. this whole thing and a lot of stress and stuff. He did not allow his job to affect his family life. He kept a good family. Um, even in spite of this, you know, they, he tried to teach his kids, again, how to endure. But he taught them also to be independent thinkers, to pursue interest, whether intellectual or just whatever they were curious about. He encourage them to follow through with that. Sure. And we're going to see where that leads in a minute. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, uh, the family stayed together, like I said, but his wife died. At a, she got tuberculosis. Is this the parents of Billy the Kid? Uh, no, 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 okay. no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was part of his parenting style that really encouraged his kids to pursue that he was a great influence on, especially two of his kids. And... Uh, and that, that, that ability to think and to think outside the box, as we'd say today. Mm. Um, but during his travel, he would oftentimes bring home gifts to the kids. Oh, sure. Yeah. Just, you know, Airport gifts. Well, yeah. yeah well, right. yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, one of those trips, he, he bought a toy that he knew at least two of his kids would be just thrilled about oh, it. Oh, yeah. He's got favorites. Well, no, but it was something that, that they took a, a high interest in, and it had. Let a, me guess. Was it an airplane type thing? They didn't have. Was this? Is this the? Is this the eighteen? Eight, well, this would have been like the late eighteen hundreds. Okay, I was. That's, yeah. that's fair. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Um, no. Anyway, um, you may have never heard of this man, Milton. Milton Wright 
But you have her two well, of his sons. I was getting close. Yes. Uh, Orville and Wilbur yes. Wright. I was like, this is the Wright brothers, the right? The toy that he brought home was a helicopter, a toy helicopter. A helicopter. <laughs> See? It wasn't oh, so absurd. Wow. They went on to build, they were. They built printing presses. They actually designed and built their own printing. I don't think printing presses fly. No, but okay. then they went from that to making bicycles. Which yeah. bicycles were actually new okay. at the time. I yeah. guess it's totally random. But hey, right. one day they're printing and they're like, hey, maybe we can ride wheels. What, right. Well, then that led to flying. flying. Yeah, well, of course, and that's the next step. Yeah, because uh, why not? Yeah. But <laughs> yeah. So it was his, but uh, one of them, I can't remember which one it was now. Orville. He said his, his father had a great influence on them and and his encouragement for them to pursue these interests. Nice. It was a great encouragement. And he said if if his fa- their father hadn't had that attitude, it probably would have squelched their ingenuity and they and they probably wouldn't have. Now, let, me see, let me ask you, you didn't say when the twins died. Were the twins that died, were they um, one of the examples in the first flying attempt? <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, okay. No. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's terrible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So... So yeah, you just never know, you know that, and that's I think the problem with our. This is a good example of we get so stuck in like traditional sure. teaching, sure that we don't give kids an opportunity to explore things and to tinker and take things apart. Yeah, put it back so together. if you let your kids explore, they might invent the airplane, right? Or have right. The, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the story of Milton Wright. Milton Wright. This is and this his yeah. wife has a name. We got to give her some credit, too. Susan. Susan Wright. Yeah. Oh, Susan Catherine. That Catherine. sounds like a very common name. Yeah. yeah. Susan Wright. So. But yeah. Julie, you have a dizzying intellect. Absolutely. <laughs> am I right or am I right or am I right? Well, yeah. cool. All I right. That was an interesting story. And you think about flight. I mean, it wasn't 1909, I think, was their flight on Kitty Hawk. In yeah. The island, Kitty Hawk. That wasn't that long ago. I mean, you know was, why they had to do their flight in Kitty Hawk? Because there's no hills in Indiana. That's right. So it's yeah, all they, flat. <laughs> they had to go somewhere where they could take <laughs> off a hill. Let yeah, me tell you, it's flat. In the Indiana. other thing that got them interested in it was a um, engineer. He actually died in a hang gliding accident. Because that was kind of a new sport. That whole concept, but that's actually where they got the concept of the wing, and uh, not from a bird. Partly, but okay. I mean the the design of the hang glider. Yeah, and stuff, sure, I get you. I get you. And just that whole concept of the air flowing in the shape of the wing and all that—it's quite stuff a, that we take for granted yeah, today. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, That's but crazy. it really was just you know a little over a hundred years ago. I'm still amazed, honestly, yeah. that I look up and I see this air. This is why I don't like flying because I think too much, <laughs> and, and I see that the, the the pressure on a wing and just. Why doesn't it just shear right off and they all crash to their deaths? Yeah, it's amazing. That's what I think about when I'm in a plane. (laughs) (laughs) But what the amazing thing is how much that changed the world. Their one, oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Yeah. it's kind of like the iPod. I mean, it just changed the world. It absolutely did. (laughs) I think the airplane changed a little bit more. (laughs) I don't know. But yeah, so but like I said, the influence of their father. Yeah, that's cool. That is cool. I've always heard their story. Like I've read books to the kids about them, you know, inventing the airplane, but never knew anything about his dad. Their dad. Yeah. Yeah. Ordained minister in the Brethren United Brethren Church. Sweet. Well, that's cool. Well, thanks, Larry, for the history time for the Wright brothers.